words they hurt me You'd find out what made me angry Then use it to your ability Now you're trying to avoid me You're the big problem here A bully to many for so many years Now shut your mouth, close your ears Never learned your lesson and nobody cares That's what you're here for This is Fantasy Esque, and welcome back to the Sims 4 Royal Witch Kingdoms. Today we are continuing with the noble family of Sisida, and ah, oh, we've got a warm fire happening. It is very, very early on a Friday morning. It's snowing outside. These two are having some beautifully magicked up breakfast with each other, and Diamond is giving Daphne the look. So, what exactly is going on? Well, we had their noble consummation in this episode that we saw in the beginning and even before they went into spending the night with each other Diamond kind of sat down with Daphne and he essentially laid down I don't know if I'd say the rules of the marriage but he kind of laid down his expectations and he said essentially your usefulness to me isn't getting a child like that is what I want from you I want an heir that is the whole purpose of this marriage pretty much like expect really nothing else from me um, or you know this is what I expect from you uh, in order for this thing or this arrangement to work and it's the whole reason why I've married you it has nothing to do with love so don't have any like lofty things in your mind about us and then she said yeah I know and um, I expect security from you and um, comfort right that's that's what she said, she said, don't worry, I will give you what you want, you just have to make sure I live a comfortable and safe life. So that is the arrangement they've gone into. And then afterwards, um, she was eating by herself in the morning, and then, she, like, uh, I think the morning after or something, and she noticed, or, I mean, 
wouldn't have been the morning after. Maybe it was. Maybe it was a few mornings after. Who knows? But she was eating breakfast and noticing that her appetite has increased. So she was hoping that it was a sign that she was indeed pregnant. So we had that going. And then Diamond was wondering, like, she hasn't been showing any symptoms. Like, she hasn't been gagging or anything like that or feeling queasy. So what's going on with her? There shouldn't be a problem because literally... Um, like their siblings both from his side and her side they all have been super fertile so there really shouldn't be anything for them to worry about um and now they're having a happy breakfast with each other why is it a happy breakfast well guys that's because daphne over here is indeed expected she is eating for two so yes she is very relieved and he is also um, happy by this news obviously it's what he wanted and everything is going to plan which is great for him now I'm gonna let these two um, eat and then there are a few things I'm gonna cover really quickly that I forgot to mention in the previous episode so with the three babies that were born as part of the flippin story progression uh, the, the neighborhood stories or whatnot um, what is she doing? Oh, I thought she was going to throw up. No. But yeah, the three babies that were born, I did go ahead and roll for the chance of death in childbirth for their mothers because every single female witch in this series has a percentage chance they can die from childbirth. Um, and Daphne has one too. Hers is 1%. She's got like essentially the lowest chance of dying from childbirth so healthy genes utterly healthy genes but I did even though those babies were born off camera I did roll um, to see if their mothers would survive and all three of the female witches survived the births so that's really good and then the other thing I forgot to mention was the age difference between these two I found it funny that Diamond and Daphne got married in part 11 and they are 11 years apart I just thought that was so cool like, Diamond is 11 years older than Daphne. <clears throat> and uh, very much like Kandrika. I mean, she's insulting him, then she's romantic with him. And um, I don't think I've ever really seen him get upset at her, except one time. Like, before she got the news that she was expectant, um, they were kind of hanging out over here in the dining room. And uh, I think she and Diamond were getting stressed over the fact that, you know, they haven't received any good news yet. And um, he kind of yelled at her for, I don't know, maybe being too cocky and not delivering. Thankfully, though, she doesn't have to worry about it. And I'm also curious to see if she's going to maybe have multiples. I mean, we know that she is a triplet, but her two stagdas, her two oldest stagdas, yeah, they have children, but they haven't had any multiples. They've had, like, single um, pregnancies. Well, they've had, well, you know, two pregnancies each. But they've had one baby per pregnancy. They haven't had twins or triplets. So that'll be interesting to see between them. Also, she's still cursed with this uncontrollable charge. So we have to be extra careful whenever she's using magic. Um, I think she was trying to fix something. And then she set the... She set the upstairs toilet on fire, which wasn't that great. So we had like firefighters in the house trying to put that out. And then she and Diamond were running around like crazy. So yeah, thankfully she hasn't exploded uh, because of the, the overloadedness. Um, but it seems as though they're bonding with each other quite a bit. But I, I don't think, I don't think it is it says sweethearts, but you know, I, I don't think it is love um, in the way the other couples will be. These two, they have a, a partnership. They have, they have expectations in this marriage, they have a partnership, and right now everything is going to plan for them, which is why their relationship is so good. Now, in other news, oh, it seems as though some of these babies are aging up into toddlers so I will have to give them their makeovers at some point and I will get around to that. 
So it looks like Meralda's son has her skin, which is cool. <clears throat> but, uh, what was, what else was on my mind? Oh yeah, the other thing we have going on is with Diamond. So, Diamond over here, while I was doing the movie, and then I think I played a bit off camera, obviously, between the, um, consummation and then her conception, so, or a confirmation that she is <clears throat> pregnant, I was playing a bit off camera, and I got a pop-up from Queen Faina, from High Queen Faina, and she said that she has a crush on Diamond, so she essentially confessed her interest in Diamond, and Diamond didn't necessarily turn that that interest away and this was in that kind of stressful period where they didn't know if Daphne was expectant or not so he does have this romance with High Queen Faina and uh, I thought that was so scandalous and interesting because now they've actually they've got a romance they've got like a, a bit of an affair you could say going on I mean, I don't know if it counts as an affair right now because it ha they haven't gone anywhere or done anything yet, but she has confessed her interest in him, and I feel like maybe a part of that has to do with the fact that she and Lion aren't... She, she, I feel like Feyna very much thinks like Diamond does. Um, I don't think that it's a purely business relationship with Lion. I do feel like there is room there for love and respect to grow. They certainly have respect for one another. But at the same time, Faina is very particular about expanding the family. That's the Sikha way. That's how it's been done. That's how she was raised. And that's how she wants things to be. But she did not conceive. So they are kind of struggling in that regard. Um, so maybe I can see her interest, like, wandering to others. And, um, I feel like because of her interest with family, when she finds out that Daphne is expected, she might become more interested in Diamond, because I feel like maybe in her mind that will kind of validate that Diamond is a capable witch, the kind of witch she finds attractive. So, interesting, interesting things happening over here. Very interesting things. So, I'm gonna leave these two be for a bit, and uh, we'll join them a little bit later. I might go off and, uh, uh, I guess, you know, I'll give the youngsters, at least the ones that have aged up. What about you? Has your, um, no. Maybe I should wait until all the babies have become toddlers before I give them a makeover. Or I could do it like at the end of this episode, which is usually kind of what I do. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave them be until something more interesting happens, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so it is 11.30am on Friday, and these two have come to the redeveloped inn that was in Sika, which has been turned into a temple. So, for whatever reason, you know, High Queen Faina, she's been more into her spiritual side, so, and, and I suppose devotion, prayers, those kind of things, and, um, yeah, we have this, this temple now in Sika, uh, which I suppose kind of makes sense because their palace pretty much looks like a spa! Which, you know, if you didn't know better, you'd think that's what it was. So, this temple, I will put the name in the description below, as well as the creator. Thankfully, because I just plopped it down, I do have the name of the creator with me. But I don't know how, how much justice I'm going to be able to do this. So, on the gallery, it's called the Buddhist Temple. And it's by Y-U-C-C-A-I-45. So... If you didn't catch that, it will be in the description of this video. Okay, let's uh, allow these these folks to hopefully enjoy themselves. And also, I imagine he would want to give thanks since um, Daphne is expectant. So he'd probably want to um, 
thank the 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 deities, you know, just thank any sort of supernatural force that is helping propel this good fortune. Now, things could be problematic because Faina is also here. I feel like for Faina, maybe plopping this temple down is kind of like her praying to the goddesses and gods of fertility to please give her some some heirs. But this could get problematic because she and Diamond kind of have this thing going on, which really they haven't put into practice, but they have acknowledged that there is something there. And it looks as though Princess Padme has shown up. Okay, Calypso's here as well. Calypso might might want to go inside. But let's just take a look at this place. Doesn't it look just amazing? Look at how pretty this looks. This is so well done. So, so well done. And on the inside, just look at this. It's pretty straightforward, but like, it's quite nice. Okay, I've got folks coming on inside. We've got Eldrick and the others. I swear, every time I see Eldrick's skin color, I get really concerned that someone's gonna die from being too cold or something. Like, I can't tell if Eldrick is freezing or if it's just, you know, being Eldrick. Okay, are you gonna talk to him? Okay, he's gonna come out and mingle. He wants to mingle. Hello, High Lord Eldrick. How do you do? Everything fine on your end? I think so. And look at the difference between these two. Eldrick's more of like a, a farm boy. He's like really fit and lean, whereas Diamond is used to luxury and excess. He's become a bit pudgy. Valena's here as well. Hello, Valena. How you doing? How you doing, Valena? And Daphne, who are you chatting to? Oh, oh, jeez. Daphne is chatting with High Queen Faina, and uh, apparently they're getting along just fine. Although Daphne does not know. Look at Faina giving her the side eye. She probably just um, gave Faina the news that, you know, the family's going to expand. She wants to be mischievous with Diamond, though. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder how Faina feels about this pregnancy. I'm not entirely sure. But Daphne doesn't know what's going on between Faina and Diamond. There's definitely something there, though. Okay, why don't you be mischievous to him? Since that's what you want to do. Let's see. I don't think I want to give him a fake bad news. Maybe... Just shove some snow. That seems relatively harmless. Let's go shove some snow. But I do like the idea that also the temple is just a good place for sims to get together, show gratefulness, and share good news with one another, probably. More than anything. Um, and wish one another well. Okay. There's King Lion. Let's, uh, let's be a mischievous. There we go. I don't know if he's gonna like that or not. Oh, he found that funny. Thank goodness. Yeah, he found that funny. Did you, though? I hope you did. What? Okay, that was not mischievous enough, apparently. Let's scare him. Let's try and scare him. She wants to talk to High Lord Dorian, though. Her, bro her brother-in-law. Stabellum who is embarrassed for some reason. Where is Dorian? I don't even know. Dorian, like, where are you? What are you doing? Oh, he's sitting down? Yeah, he's sitting down. And look at Dorian. He's like a father of three, and he's so fit still. I mean, his wife's the one who did all the birthing, but you know. <laughs> you know. He's managed to stay in shape. Okay. Oh my goodness, Emmerich? Emmerich's a teen? What? I have to give Emmerich a makeover, but Emmerich is a flippin' teen, guys? 
<gasps> it's Prince Lutha! Oh my goodness, Prince Luth is a teen. <gasps> and so is Emmerich. <gasps> I mean, they both need makeovers, like, badly, but... Oh my goodness, guys. What the heck? This is wild! And the fact that they're the same age, I mean... Back in, you know, their father's day, Vex and Dorian were very close in age. And their families wanted them to become best friends. Unfortunately, they didn't. But maybe their sons can do what they couldn't. Maybe Luther and uh, Emmerich can become best buds, even though their fathers couldn't. Oh, that is so cool. But yes, I need to do those makeovers at some point. Okay, well that kind of just blew my mind for a second. I was not expecting such a drastic change. Okay. Yep, I see Soren. So this is Soren as a child over here. He's also shown up to the temple. Look at how cool Soren looks. He's got like the dark blue eyes and the black hair. Just looks so cool. So cool and piercing. But okay, be mischievous with him. Like, scare him or something. This is so fascinating, though. Our first set of, like, teens in the next generation. That is wild. That is wild. Okay, where are you going? You're taking, like, the roundabout route? To go scare him? We don't know this child. She wants to scare him here. Please tell me that counted. Come on. That has... To, okay, that did. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. And what's this? Become friends with Lady Valena. Oh, that's nice. She wants to become friends with Najime. Oh, that's so cute. Where is your Najime? She was here somewhere. I don't see her anymore. Um, where'd she go? Valena, are you still here? What did you leave? Look at these guys hanging out on the bench here. Look at them. Look at them. My goodness. And then you guys are talking with Valar, who is very angry for some reason. It's, it probably has to do with, um, uh, well, I don't see Nimue. I don't even see Nimue here. That would have explained things a little bit more. I don't know why he'd be so upset if if Nimue wasn't in the vicinity. Hmm. Strange, strange, strange. Quite strange. But it's cool to see all these purple sims around the place. Cause the the Rawans and the Holbots, they kind of carry those purple genes. Okay, where is your Najime? Let's invite her to the temple. Invite her to the temple so we can spend some time befriending her. I think that would make Diamond quite happy too because he is actually super close to his Stagda. Let's share the big news with her. I feel like she would want to know that there is a new family member on the way. Plus, she has like tons of experience. The most out, out of all the witches in your generation. So maybe you can get some some good tips and advice from her. Can we share the good news? The big news, I mean. Okay, let's go. Let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. Is she in the temple? Is she... Oh, she's outside. <clears throat> That's fine. Oh my goodness. Since when did these two, like, become such... When did they start disliking each other? I don't even know. I didn't know High Lord Eldrick and Lady Daphne didn't like each other. Wow, I wonder why. I mean, it's it's Daphne. If it's... If it's 
between Daphne and Eldrick, it's probably Daphne's fault. Maybe she's got like a superiority complex. I mean, we know a lot of people, even in Hull Kane, kind of looked down on the Holdigans um, when they were growing up. So maybe it's the same thing for Daphne. She doesn't like that uh, he is a, a very lowly noble. I mean, yes, apart from the royals, all the families we play with are nobility, but I feel like even within that, they would have different standing depending on you know what their family's done how close they are to royalty and all of that they all have different reputations that affect their status in society okay anyways why don't you not bother with the eldritch you dislike and try and befriend Belena who you do like or well, I'm hoping you will like let's give some more attention to her Look at all these people moving in and out. And oh my goodness, is this... <gasps> has... Has Aveline aged up into a child? She has! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have like so many kids to make over by the end of this episode. Because just a bunch of them, they're just aging up together at the same time. Obviously, all the unmade over ones are gonna have the wrong eye colors because I haven't assigned the proper ones yet. But still, it's kind of cool to see her running around. Huh. Maybe you can be friends with Soren. Maybe, maybe. Okay, let's enthuse about magic. Um, discuss fears. Why not ask about day? Let's talk about how full and cold it is. And let's see. We'll just brighten her day, try not to complain too much. And no, don't be mean to her. What is wrong with you? We're trying to become friends with her. Compliment her outfit. And I wonder if Faina is going to take advantage of... Nope. Faina is playing it smart. She's been hovering around, but she hasn't engaged Diamond in like any sort of direct conversation. Okay, they're friends now. Daphne's friends with Valena that's mission accomplished but yeah I don't I think Faina is kind of keeping her distance more or less because she is an expert flirter and she kind of knows or like flirt she's an expert flirt and she knows that uh, there are eyes on her so she should probably g kind of give Diamond a wide berth you know don't be all up in his business at the temple because people are looking so, what is, um, I feel like it's getting a bit late and they are getting hungry and stuff. At least Daphne is and, oh jeez, Diamond is on the brink of death. Actually, we don't even have to go home for that. We can just make some hot pot for everyone here. So, why don't you just have hot pot with others? Let's come and eat, come on, let's go. Um, sorry Nimue, we're kind of busy right now, but we're going to go eat, because uh, by the time we get home, Diamond might starve, so let's go do that. Everyone, let's go have some, uh, Yosunabe, I think it is called, let's go have that. Oh, come on, sit down. Sit down. Eat. Oh, come on. Let's eat, please. Please sit down and eat. Okay, what is this? Cloud gaze of Faina. Actually, that might not be a wise one to put down for now because nighttime is coming. Dude, eat, please. I'm trying here. Do you want to die? Okay, he's gonna sit down. There we go. There we go. Please eat. Please. I don't know what's going on here. Everyone's a little bit confused. Sit down. Sit down. Please eat. 
or is it is it cooking you're gonna wait it out a bit i'm so concerned right now guys diamond could die to this like at this trip to the flippin temple i suppose we're just waiting for the hot pot to be ready fingers crossed hopefully yeah okay i'm thinking that's what's going on we're just waiting for this to be ready and then we're gonna eat grab a serving excellent let's grab let's eat shove in your mouth please dude everyone's grabbing some except for you get get it get it thank you oh my goodness there's so many people here eating so many people also i do notice how weird my voice sounds like it sounds really sick but i swear i'm getting better okay eat 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 you're stressing me out. Can you eat diamond? Are you waiting to croak? What is he even doing? Daphne's she knows how it's done. Dude, eat please. You're like scaring me. And Daphne, I don't think you have to attempt to swipe that bowl of food. Diamond kind of got it for everyone to eat. Diamond, if you die at the temple. If you die at the temple. Thank, thank goodness. Now, imagine he got, like, poisoned at the temple. That would have been news. That would have totally been news. Now he's gonna laugh maniacally. That's fine. And she wants to be mean to Diamond. Why? Like, in public as well? Like, what is your problem? Is that a child we know? No. But yeah, what, what is your problem? Why are you being mean to him? You're just being like Kandrika, I suppose. Okay, well, um... Let's yell at him. We're gonna say it's pregnancy hormones. She's throwing a tantrum. She's throwing a tantrum right now because why the flip not? Maybe she got really scared by the fact that he hadn't eaten anything the whole day and she feels as though he's not taking care of himself and if he doesn't take care of himself, how the heck is he gonna take care of her? Cause you know, she's supposed to be under his protection. Well. Quite interesting. But it's late. I should take them back home. They should rest up and we'll jump back in when we have something more exciting happening. Back at the Sisida residence, Daphne over here um, is in her second trimester. It is still freezing cold. She has invited over High Queen Fena. Oh, thank goodness it's the last day winner. She is wanting to unexpectedly flirt with High Queen Vayner. And at first I was really confused, but then I was like, to be honest, Vayner's family is kind of known to be like really beautiful. So I can kind of understand that after meeting Vayner at the temple, there's like this fascination she has and maybe she's just enamored by her beauty. Um, and obviously her, her power as a royal so, in the privacy of her quarters, she is going to flirt with High Queen Fena, while Diamond is diligently practicing his magic um, outside without knowing a thing. And Fena obviously is lapping all of this up because she is a total player. A total player. Okay, Diamond actually wanted to cloud gaze with Fena, so I'm thinking we might ask her to cloud gaze with us right about now. Let's go cloud gaze in the snow, um, and then we can invite over the person that Daphne dislikes, High Lord Eldrick, because Diamond wants to um, build a connection with him. He doesn't have a problem with High Lord Eldrick, at least not right now. But he did meet him, and I feel like he wants to kind of flesh out that relationship a little bit more. I don't know if he's unaware of Daphne's dislike right now, if he like doesn't care, it's not relevant to him, maybe. Okay, Fena, we're gonna steal you away. And I don't think Diamond would suspect there's anything untoward happening between Fena and his wife because 
he and Fena have something untoward happening with each other. So it probably doesn't cross his mind that um, Fena's Fena is like two timing them with each other. Actually, three timing them because she's also married. So you know there is that. Oh wait, what? We got a call from Arthur. I don't know what the heck it said. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what it said. So, oopsies. Not entirely sure what that was about entirely. I didn't even get to see. Like it came on the screen and it went so fast. Okay, well, you guys keep cloud gazing. That was supposed to have registered. Apparently it hasn't. And I don't know what that is about. But he did get a sentiment. So he's closer to the Queen from Happy Memories. And um, they're growing closer because of quality time. Which is pretty good. Okay, why don't we invite over High Lord Eldrick? Has he even ever been to Sikar? I don't know, but Eldrick's always kind of outcasted, I feel. So this might be a good outing for him. I feel like it's like a big deal for Eldrick if some other High Lord or Lady has invited him to their estate. For him it's kind of just like, wait, what? I have friends? I'm being invited to other kingdoms? That's kind of wild. So yeah, okay, enough cloud gazing time. You guys are spending like way too much time staring at the sky. Where's Eldrick? Where is Eldrick? Well, he's apparently in the area. Oh my goodness, he's like all the way down here. Eldrick, I don't know what you're doing and I also don't know what you're wearing. What is going on, my boy? What is going on? Diamond, you really need to pee, and then maybe you can go run in the snow, stalk Eldrick down, chat with him a little bit. Meanwhile, Daphne and Fena can have some alone time. Who knows where this alone time is going to end up, but that's fine. Let's have some roast chicken. We'll have some roast chicken. Okay, Diamond. You're all good. Now, where the heck is Eldrick? He's all the way over here. Well, we wanted to just chat with him. Yeah, maybe enthuse about magic. Go track him down. Enthuse about magic. Let's try and get them to each other fairly quick. You guys... I'm watching you, Fena. I'm watching you. This also feels like kind of a dangerous move. Because from what we remember, the... Like, the Sikars and the Ramadusts don't entirely get along too well. But in this case, it might just be like enemies attract. And I don't know. Also, I feel like I'm getting really sleepy. I mean... Yes, I ate not too long ago, but I don't feel like that excuses how sleepy I feel. Um, okay, look at them talking excitedly to each other. My goodness. And I feel like maybe with Fena, it's knowing that Daphne is expectant. Maybe that's what's attracting her. Why she's reciprocating. She's hoping some of that is going to like rub off. So that luck... Is gonna rub off on her. Well, Daphne, continue doing your um your stuff. Okay, Fena is gonna head off apparently. And how are you guys doing? Did you finally make it to Eldrick? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay, let's chat him up. I don't know if these guys are going to, you know, end up becoming pretty good friends or not. Well, you managed to stop Eldrick when he was walking by, but I think he's going to want to take off pretty soon. And you've got 10 hours till your third trimester, so you've got a bit to go. 
that means we can expect their baby to be born in the next episode. Yeah, next episode, Diamond. I just hope their child is like a good person, in all honesty. Because I feel like Diamond definitely isn't, and Daphne definitely isn't. And Diamond's parents were actually pretty decent. Um, Daphne's father was good. Her mother, not so much. But that's kind of... You're gonna laugh maniacally. Let's go back home. Let's... Yes, let's fly back to the estate. Let's go do that. Let's stay home where it's nice and cozy. And everything is, like, super comfortable. Now, what kind of spells do they have? I've been getting them to use their magic quite a bit. And practice, so he's got a bunch of these mischievous spells and she does as well she knows quite a few spells she knows a bunch of practical ones too hold on a second magic magic nope not this yeah so she knows all these ones and burgliate Acquire something that doesn't belong to you. It's kind of interesting. I wonder if, like, magically stealing um, reduces the chance of you being caught stealing, or if it just functions at literally the same interaction as trying to burgle something. Like trying to swipe an object. Because that would be, I feel, a little bit silly. Just a little bit. Okay, you're playing chess out here. Do you want to practice some more magic? Let's go do that. And I don't know which of her friends died. She's been sad lately. Not entirely sure why that is the case. Like, I don't know. I've got no clue. And I don't know who this random commoner is. But, sorry, we are too busy to, um, to help you with anything that you may require some assistance with. Apologies. But you know what? Maybe you can practice some magic too. That would be good. You know what I would love? If, like, these whims, if they could include whims that had to do with specific spells. So if your sims know a specific spell then I would love for your character to like your your sim to have the want to cast a sp like specific spell a particular spell on a particular sim that would be great like if she had the want to cast infatuate on High Queen Feyna I think that would be just so much fun even potions like if they had the whim to use a specific potion on a specific sim but that isn't a thing as far as I'm aware it's kind of sucky but hey anyways I am going to leave off here when we come back in the next episode um, we are going to be having the heir of Sisseterborn which is going to be very exciting and also, hopefully, I will have made over all of the children that have aged up, and we might be able to see them around the kingdom. So guys, I'll leave off, I'll see you next time, bye bye.